Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching another D-Generosity video, The Hell of Homework. Let's get it. Horace Mann, father, slave abolitionist, huh? but most importantly, education reformer. Mann right. spent a majority of his career changing the scope of American public school education to an overall better environment. You see, back then, teachers were slightly more dumb than they are now. Anybody could have been a teacher back then, even you. So Horace changed it. I would have been making that bread back in the day. To teachers have to be trained professionals for him to teach. Also, he wanted more girl teachers. No more teachers with sausages. Hey, yo, he opted for a more diverse school Not environment. Crazy. He Why do you find these gifts, my boy? Like, I ain't gonna tell you a lie. These be crazy. Wanted to equalize the learning experience for all kids so they can learn the same, no matter the background. The man did a whole heap of advancements to the American education system that we still... This basically gonna draw boil down that's the nigga who made homework and we should hate him. Who used to this very day. <laughs> There's like a thousand schools that are named after him, bro. This guy made a difference. The man basically made everything yeah, we crazy. know about modern American education we do today. Including enforcing the worst mother See? thing I to ever I knew it. I knew it. Ever exist. Homework! This okay, man did bro. everything right for the education system. You should, system. Have, a, you should have a headphones warning, bro. Like, come on, bro. This you know one I watch that, you thing, know I watch he made down. everything wrong. I know you were a slave abolitionist advocating to end slavery and all, but bringing homework over to the U.S. might even be worse than slavery. You know how... Oppenheimer made the first apology video after creating those nukes that were dropped on Japan. Well, imagine being this Frankenstein looking dude, ruining the childhoods of everybody in America. Homework. I'm over here. It, 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 it spreads deep. It spreads deep. It's the worst thing to ever happen. And I'm going to try to explain every single minute detail on why not only it sucks, but it's useless. But for me to explain that, let's figure out why homework was created in the first place. Through a simple Google search, it says Robert Navilius, an Italian teacher, invented the whole concept of homework. And he assigned it to punish students who didn't demonstrate a good understanding of the lesson that was taught in class or just lazy and disobedient students. He would punish them with homework. And yes, I might agree that homework was a worse punishment than being beat with a ruler. And I could just blame all my school misery on this guy. But when researching it, it also says he did this in 1905 or 1095. Now, I might not be a genius, but the math isn't math in here. How he do this in 1905 or 1095? That's like six billion years apart. Is he a <laughs> vampire? Is he related to Nicolas Cage? We'll never know. Because apparently, I actually need to watch Renfield. They, I've been getting so many odds and things of that nature. I, I, I gotta go watch it. Speaking of movies, you should watch. Go watch the Mario movie. Enjoy yourself. Bless yourself with something this week. There's no real evidence this Roberto Noodle guy even existed. So Google is giving me some false information. Now I gotta switch over to Bing now. The real oh, reason no. on why homework was created Not dates Bing. back to ancient Rome in the first century AD. That's a few years after the Big Bang. The term homework can be traced back to this time said by Pliny or Pliny the Younger, an oratory teacher. That's a teacher that teaches you how to talk to strangers. He believed the repetition and practice of speech would help students get better at their speaking skills. So he would often huh? tell students to I'm practice even, speaking at home, essentially homework. So homework was created for students to practice the subject. I mean, that was probably a no duh for most people watching, but the way this Pliny guy used it, it isn't really homework, homework. You know, sometimes teachers will tell you your homework is to study for the test the next day. And when they say that in my head, they basically told me, I don't got homework. I'm not gonna study when I get <laughs> home. I'm gonna be too busy playing Hello Kitty Adventure. That is true. Then I'm gonna study last minute. What? what? Look at this guy's face. Is that, I don't, I don't wanna be, is that Markiplier? <laughs> Please don't let that be Markiplier, please. On the bus ride to school the next day, also studying a bit in homeroom before their class, and I'll still get away with a B minus. You know? Hey, I'm happy with that. That's a pass. B minus? Yes, Lord. Come on. PP the teacher's homework wasn't really homework. It was a suggestion. Like how dentists suggest that you brush your teeth twice a day. Don't tell me what to do. I brush my teeth once a week. Tops. Once a week is insane. I'm just going to keep it a buck. 
once a week is crazy. But obviously, homework has devolved since the time. Once a day, I could understand. Maybe once after you eat every, t- but that's three times a day. I feel like I feel like I feel like once after you done after the day is finished. Like if you're about to go to bed, brush your teeth, and then you know. But then you have to brush your teeth in the morning because your breath is be smelling stink. You got to brush it twice. You got to brush it twice. No. My Phineas and Ferb. Instead of studying, we have multiple choice sheets, written assignments, projects, reading whole textbook chapters of homework. So, isn't that what class is for? You assigning me textbook chapters to read as homework is basically telling me to go and teach myself. What am I here for? What are we doing here? That is true. They could teach me better. Here then, I might as well be at home playing with my Hello Kitty. I remember I had this bro, one. Bro, 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 this. Tell me to go and teach myself. What am I here for? Nah. What are we doing here then? I might as well be at home playing with my Hello Kitty. Bro. <laughs> Kitty. I remember crazy. I had this one teacher that would basically I assign like essays to type I, I, every I look, I knew, it's fine. class as homework with a minimum word count of like. 300 don't take honors history bro Horseman. i didn't take honors history but i take well i, I think I, it is the equivalent i took like like bgcse level history which is like honors history in in the states but over here and boy they have you writing writing words like i gotta you know how many times i use because and 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 such as mistake of my Hate life it. homework now is just an overload of mandatory tasks that one combined with every other class that assigns it you're looking at a whole behemoth booty load of exam Carl. Austin, you have to do every night and all this new age of homework is still looked at as practice of what you're already learning but in drawing. this day and age how is homework practice Practice for what exactly? How fast can I Google the answer to this question? How fast yeah, can photo maps scan? Hold on, wait, you could actually quick? do that on, on, on. You could actually do that? Hold on. I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. Thanos. I was lied to. And give me the answer with work. How fast can I find a Quizlet that has every single answer to every single question on any English or science assignment in order? This is no longer practicing or studying these subjects. We just copying and pasting. Especially nowadays with stuff like ChatGPT and all its alternatives, where we can get whole. Bro, I didn't have the luxury of using ChatGPT. I graduated before it became a thing. Oh, essays about feet. Type to us in a second for free. Homework in general is just obsolete. Elite, or at least its intended purpose of making us study and practice is homework is just needless work stop assigning it i bet you teachers would like that too it gives you less work to go through and grade i know some of you teachers complain about the amount of work you do then y'all just give out more homework essentially giving us more work for me and you do you like to suffer is that what you like suffering speaking of eternal damnation let me talk about how even people back then agreed with what i'm saying in the early 1900s big time publications like the new york times and ladies home journal published articles on how homework can affect the health and mental state of a child negatively the articles basically showed you see that kid right there that's your child on homework these articles cost over again an outrage against the schools in the West and California being California, it did something insane. But for the first and only time, a good kind of crazy. In 1901, California banned homework yes. for kids under 15. <laughs> Enough to make a grown man cry. Like a party has been restored. <laughs> Skip some years. That fool. I was in a play-in game, by the way. If like that was. <laughs> They got eliminated the next round. And in 1923, Trash. the American Sorry. Child Health Association <laughs> formed. And they also thought homework was bad for the brain. And in the 1930s, they even went as far as to deem homework as child labor. You see, during this time, America just had the Industrial Revolution. And the children yearned for the mind. So kids as young as five were playing Minecraft in real life. And by the 1930s, a bunch of laws had sadly Minecraft been signed again. Against child labor. 
but recently for it. And since these laws were being passed, the ACHA thought like, what? I, I listened to it that was back a great opportunity to finally going. get rid of homework once and for all. Uh, it's mercy. Obviously, that didn't work out. And about that California bill, that left me to revive. Also, didn't last long. That blessed. only lasted like ten years. Like everything in California, the fun only lasts a second. Then you're homeless. There's more to this American homework story, but we all know the ending because we're living in it. ACHA were the only group of people that understood that we were being worked to the bone over this work. How not only it was hurting us, but it was destroying our minds. Yet our government failed the people's needs once That's again. Crazy. The hours and nights of work I had to do. They never even had anything like that over here. They Just so us. my grade could go up 0.02%. That's 0.2% in the right direction so hey and for some reason go down 50 percent if i didn't do an assignment the Ooh, amount of stress true. that brings us that i don't i don't like that too the fact that if you do work it only goes up a certain amount but if i fail the if i pass the work it only goes up a certain amount but if i fail the work it goes down a deeper amount like bro come on bro make it make sense dude it, it's deadly i've already described why homework is useless terrible and gave my firstborn cancer it's a punishment your kids congrats <laughs> that would be beyond my comprehension if it didn't exist i hate homework so much i want it abolished almost as much as i want stealing from walmart to be legal and in my world it is but let's not right now but what's the replacement is that you of homework if it were to get banned what will take its place y'all got a new drake song the one with the ai i low-key go crazy i'ma tell you actual studying homework would be you studying all the notes and what you went over in class so the practice part of homework would actually work and i know some people are thinking nah you a liar man you just said whenever studying was your homework you're gonna go and play hello kitty adventure you can't fool me yeah and the reason for that is because every other night i'm doing back breaking homework the only reason i play video games that day is because it's essentially my day off that's why. If I was assigned to study every day as homework for every class, I would probably still play video games, not gonna lie. But it would motivate me more to study. <clears throat> Maybe after clocking in five hours on the dogs, I'ma feel a little slumped. Then Nintendo I'ma remember. Crazy. You oh, play, yeah. There's a lot of other games you could have been playing on Nintendo on a DS, but you decide to play. Yeah, I got school tomorrow. Then study for like five minutes, you know? Better than nothing. You know what's really better? Copying them. That's like playing Duck Dynasty on your like thirty thousand dollar gaming computer. Like, pasting bro. an hour worth of homework, learning nothing, or that. And if you know, you know. If you know what Duck Dynasty is, <laughs> five minutes every day where I learn and practice five minutes of stuff and oh, actually boy. remember. I oh think we God, both know the answer. It's a he better. He looked like he looked like even Harry Potter. He looked like um Daniel. Your sister, man, I'm telling you, it's a win-win on both sides. The teacher and student get less work while class grade but averages go up. Insane. Also, to any student that would still fail their classes with this system, nah, you just dumb, bro, sorry. You still failing when there's no homework? Bro, you're the one with the doodle for brains. Just transfer, bro. I got the perfect place for you. And that is my reasoning why Denver homework University. is hell on earth and my solution to that problem. Thank you, thank you. And to any kids watching this right now, show this video to your teacher and tell them to watch it because I just gave them the most convincing reason on why homework is terrible. I'm about to change their brains. I made sure not to cuss or say anything dirty in this video so you won't get in trouble. And if they watch this and still give you homework, jump them, jump them. I'm just kidding. Just put a grenade in their desk when they're not looking. Yeah, homework is dookie. And that's all I wanted to say. And in conclusion, W video, but homework sucks. Like, I ain't gonna lie, when I used to be in school, I actively hated homework. Like, I mean, most people do, but like, it was about. I couldn't, I couldn't do homework. Like, I did it. Because homework was, first of all, homework was stupidly easy. You would go home and you would have the answers at, the fi at your fingertips. Go look online for literally every, any answer you wanted. So it, it wasn't helping me to retain knowledge i just used to go online and, and put the answers on anyways especially during covid when it was online so you had to have like some sort of computer but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video go subscribe to gj ross he's gonna be the first link in the description and then come back to this video and subscribe to me see you guys next time.